All right, guys, I asked the other day if you guys wanted me to set up Mr. Dark, and there was a resounding yes. So I went to my storage unit today, I grabbed him up, and here we are on my back porch in front of my hot tub, getting ready to set up this monster because I believe that I have enough space right here. He is super tall, he's gonna jump super high, so we have to have plenty of room for him to jump. So, let's go ahead and get started here. I bought this from somebody, um, man, a few months ago from the Spirit Halloween group, and I had bought several other animatronics from him that all turned out to be perfectly fine, so I don't expect this one to be any different. I don't know whether he's gonna be difficult or not, but I would be willing to bet that he is. Uh, let's see, man. How do you even get everything out of here? Well, here he is. <laughs> so there's his face, his robe, I guess part of his body. We got a wire here. Okay, there's both arms, his head, his gown. This might not actually be too bad because there doesn't seem to be too many parts. This is apparently his jumping mechanism. There's the control box. Let's see, there's part of the base. Another part of the base, instructions, a couple of bags, I'll have to see what's in those, and the power cord. But I believe that he is actually powered by batteries. Battery adapter compatible, sold separately. So he can run by batteries, but you have to actually buy a battery pack to hook up to him. That is sold separately. Okay. So there's this box. Let's go ahead and start with the base because it's pretty obvious how this goes together. Yeah, I'm gonna have to move it out at least. I'll probably have to even move him out farther once we get him set up because he's gotta clear this thing. That's for the control box. Ooh, okay. So these bags here are sand bags. I am supposed to fill these with sand. I don't think I have any sand, but I do have rocks. Okay, so it looks like we have all the pieces we need. Snap the metal base, we did that. Snap lock control box and lever arm. That would be this. Okay, so the springs go back here, and this snaps in like this. You see how that's done? Now he goes and fetches the duck. Line up the plastic triangle and plastic notch on the lever arm to ensure body faces forward. That's one heck of a long dress you got there, sir. <laughs> this comes up and has to go in there. I see. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Next, we got the springs. You could get pinched on those. Apparently, I have to pull this over now. He is a spooky fellow. With the body in the up position, Pull the fabric release. First, we gotta get him in the up position. How do we get him in the up position? I don't see any way to release him to the up position. With the body in the up position. What in the world? Oh, I see. Okay, so there's Velcro on the back of his neck here. And then there's Velcro on the bottom of his gown here, whatever you wanna call it. And what it was referring to is when you first take it out of the box and he's all balled up and it's Velcroed to his neck. Locate the blue fabric insert under the fabric. Insert the blue fabric insert into the square frame. Okay, so we need the sandbags on here now. The rocks, one there, one there, one here. So there's loops on here to hook onto these. All right, there's one. Three. Where's this go? I'm still here. Pull the arms down a little. So the instructions say to have him in the up position when I plug him in, but I can't figure out how to get him in the up position. So I'm gonna plug him in and see what happens. Okay, he's on. 
Let's see how this goes. <laughs> he scared the living crap out of me. <laughs> this is what I love so much about Halloween. That was a legit scare right there. I don't know why I'm so jumpy, but it makes for good videos. He takes a long time to go back down, too. He is so awesome, guys. I'm so glad I bought him. Look at those teeth. All right, so we're gonna let him go back down here a minute. My heart is still pounding from this stupid guy scaring the crap out of me. <laughs> it was so totally unexpected because I came around the side and he jumped. Okay. So the sensor appears to be right on his nose there. So let's just see. Okay. Man, he is so awesome. My neighbors right now are probably like, what in the world is this guy doing over there? Look how awesome he is, man. So very cool. I just don't know about that sensor, though, because it seems that you have to get so close to him to actually set it off. I mean, like, I have so many animatronics that right here they'd be jumping like i think it was monty and um the hauntress like they picked up no matter where you were at it picked it up but he doesn't want to seem to sense you let's just try to walk past him because when i walked past him on the side earlier that's when he jumped up so let's go ahead if you're just walking by i'm about four feet from him yeah it's not even picking me up hmm strange i'm gonna have to see what i can figure out with that or just get a step pad. I love this guy so much. All right, let me step back here. Yeah, look how huge he is, man. I know that like my roof, the edge of my roof is seven feet right there. So he goes up at least another three feet from there. Mr. Dark, so very cool. Highly recommended. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, there he is, your dose of Halloween for today. We only have less than a month and a half before the Spirit Halloween flagship store opens. I am going to be there, and if you're there, you're going to get to meet me and my son, that other Nate guy on YouTube, as well as Brick Thunder and so many other awesome YouTubers. Let's see how this goes. <laughs>